This video is with regard to the Digital Regulatory Assurance System, and the purpose of the video is to take a look at how applicants can reconnect with their legacy data. The Environmental Approval System One Stop has been decommissioned. The applications and the applications with decisions have been moved into the Digital Regulatory Assurance System, or DRAS. From here, what you can do is you can click on how to access DRAS. Under the Environmental Approval System One Stop, you would have accessed that system with a My Alberta Digital ID or a My Alberta Digital ID for business account. You're going to use that same account to access DRAS. Next step, all you need to do, you don't need to log into any one of these two. You need to go down to log into DRAS, click on Go to DRAS. In the top right hand corner, there's a login button. Click on that login button and it will take you to a secure login page. Click on the appropriate link, either My Alberta Digital ID or My Alberta Digital ID for business. I'm going to click on the following link. I'm going to enter in a username and password, and I will be back. An applicant has accessed the system. I'm going to click on their profile. They can see their name and their company. Now, if they had applicant representatives under the Environmental Approval System One Stop, the applicant needs to add those applicant representatives back into their account within the digital regulatory assurance system. So those are not carried over from the environmental approval system one stop. You can scroll down to manage your representatives. You can click on add new person. The company that is representing you or the person that's representing you also needs to have accessed the digital regulatory assurance system at least once prior to you adding them in. So they need they needed to have logged into DRAS. Click on add a new person. If they're a company, you can search them in the company field. If you're doing this on the same day, just note that that representative needs to supply you with the email ID because the company won't show up until the next day. So they, if you did it today, it wouldn't show up until tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna use an example where I can type in the number, or sorry, type in the name. I'm going to click on that name. The people that represent this company have logged into the digital regulatory assurance system. So this person logged in with their own individual account under my Alberta digital ID for business. And so did this person. So I can click on an individual. I can add an individual and I can say, I want them to represent my company. And then I can add them in. So I've already done that. Then you can grant permissions. So the default will be is that they can submit on your behalf. Um, you can click on submit and then you can grant them either read, write or submit privileges associated with this. Uh, if you want them to be able to further delegate out, in other words, you're gonna delegate to uh, a single representative within a company, the ability to delegate to other representatives so they can delegate to their own um, people within their own company, or they could delegate to another consulting firm or, or another individual if you grant them this permission. I'm I am going to click on save. And that saves the information that's listed in here, including the individual that I've just added. To find your legacy applications, uh, you would go to the home page, you would go to my dashboard. And then on the dashboard, my organization's pre-DRAS applications are listed here and they would have a DAPPL number. So the number looks exactly the same as this, except there's an L after the second P. And then you can click on a link associated with that information and it will take you to that application. If you want a representative to see this information, you need to copy down the numbers and you need to send them an email or phone them up and provide them with those numbers. What they can do then is they will log into the digital regulatory assurance system under their own account. They will go to the homepage and they will enter in the search the exact DAPPL number that you gave them. So there's seven digits behind here. They have to enter in all those and then they can search for it. And then it will show up on their dashboard. Uh, if you have any questions associated with this, there is a get help feature you can click on how can we help you and you can submit your information in here. And this is most effective way to get a response associated with 
um, information. You can talk about what your query is. This is especially for if you can't find your legacy data. There is There have been cases where not everyone has been reconnected to their legacy data uh, or legacy applications. So don't hesitate to contact us with regard to that. Just say, you know, the, the following company has submitted applications into the the environmental approval system one stop. We need to reconnect. They're not reconnected. Uh, you need to fill out the information that is in red asterisks. You can attach additional information if you want, and then you can click on submit. Um, the numbers that you provide to us, they can be the application numbers out of the environmental approval system one stop. Uh, you won't have the DAPPL numbers. You can just use whatever numbers that you got out of the environmental approval system one stop, and that works. If you need to phone somebody about this, then what you can go and do is go back to the Digital Regulatory Assurance System homepage. You can scroll down the page. There's a contact number that's listed here. If you're outside the Edmonton area, you can dial toll-free at 310-0000 and then dial this number when it prompts you to do so. Um, emailing us, uh, it's preferred if you use this Get Help because it will email us. Um, this one here is also monitored, but uh, this is the most effective way if you're going to email us is to go through this help feature here. I'm just going to show you that we are on the main homepage. So I just clicked on back. We are at the top. The contact link is listed here. So that takes you back down to that contact link just to show you where it's at. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And I hope this video was of help. And I hope you're having a good day.